the main part of the program <clears throat> is the main page that you see here with the wind information in the upper left hand corner, the targeting information on the right hand side, and at the bottom of the display it'll have your elevation and windage corrections uh, required. The menu options at the bottom of the page, the four main menu items, uh, let you select from a, a rather feature-rich uh, environment. There are an awful lot of items here in the program to go through, and uh, the program will basically handle pretty much anything you can throw at it uh, in terms of finding a solution or helping you find a solution to a shooting problem. First thing we'll do is look at the lower left hand corner and the item labeled presets. Clicking the presets will bring you to your basic environmental and bullet data. Even supposing you've done nothing else when you start the program up, you can come to this page and enter your current environmental data. Right now we're set to use station pressure, that's the checkbox labeled stat. If we switch to barometric pressure, it would require an altitude and the current altimeter setting, basically. Uh, station pressure always being the more accurate uh, system. Our current station pressure here is 25.8 inches off the Kestrel. Um, te current temperature is 67.2 degrees and about 10% humidity. Once the uh, atmospheric data is entered. Um, we need to set the site settings. We are currently set for a zero of 100 yards and 1.8 inches for the center of the optic over the bore. We'll come back to fixed zero in a little bit. And then we need to set the bullet information so the system can calculate a solution. Uh, right now we are defaulting to a 308 Winchester, 175 grains. I currently have 2,700 feet per second as the velocity. The standard G1 ballistic coefficient for that projectile is 0.496. The system will default to a deceleration constant, the item labeled DK, as 0.5. We can leave that for the moment. We'll get pretty good uh, results just with that number. There's another option in this lower right-hand area to deal with powder temperature. <clears throat> if you haven't already noticed, powders can be more or less sensitive to pressure, uh, or rather temperature, delivering a different pressure and therefore a different velocity. If you do your chronograph session when it's 95 degrees outside and then start shooting when it's 30 degrees outside, uh, you may notice that the velocity is considerably different and will result in a different point of impact. Here <clears throat> we allow you to enter the difference in feet per second, right? the deviation value in feet per second. Uh, per degree Fahrenheit temperature, or Celsius temperature, as the case may be. And you can set this to be powder sensitive, or temperature sensitive, and now it's reading the powder temperature is 70 degrees, and if I told it there was a deviation of one foot per second for every degree Fahrenheit, um, when I tell it to calculate, it'll basically alter the muzzle velocity to account for the difference in temperature. Um, depending upon how sensitive your loads are, this may or may not be necessary. Once all this information is entered, we select Accept, and the main page is now calculating solutions based on our current atmospheric data. So if I change the range here to be 800 yards and say calculate, the come up data will change now to 22 minutes um, from the, the previous value. That's basically all you need to do to get started and just start calculating solutions. If you want to start playing with the program, that's the basic information right there. 
at this point, if I want to find out what the wind value is for this bullet at 800 yards on this shot, let's put in 10 miles an hour in the upper left-hand corner and tell it it's coming from 270 degrees or directly from my left. Calculate, and it tells me that I'm going to need 6 minutes left windage correction in addition to my 22.7 minutes up. Okay. Pretty much that simple. Now you have an option here <clears throat> to enter that as a compass bearing, or if you click the from button, uh, it'll change to the somewhat uh, common clock methodology. Right? If we have a moving target, we can do the same thing here with the speed. If our target is moving at five miles an hour, 90 degrees. That'll change our complete lead to be 12.3 right with six minutes left dialed on the gun. Okay. 